Hey friends, I'm here in the famous Paddington Station. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. A little overwhelming. It makes uh, Grand Central kind of look, uh, I don't know, a little bit more manageable. But uh, I see some, you can see some trains on the other side of the fare gate. So I guess even to take a regional train, you, uh, you go through the fare gates. And I don't know if you can see it, there's a train coming in on one of the tracks, but it's, it's a pretty big, pretty big station here. You can see the, uh, the train, the train shed above us. You could actually see this from my hotel. Last night I was staying at the Hilton, which is uh, right beyond that wall of glass there. Kind of an old school hotel. So let's take a little walk around and um, just kind of take it in. Um, I'm going to be taking a train or subway over to um, King's Cross. So there's a station there, which I'll be uh, staying at a hotel there uh, tonight and tomorrow night. And then the next day from that station, I'll be taking a Eurostar train to Paris and heading over to uh, Milan. So yeah, it, this is pretty crazy. Um, they have these little markings on the floor. And uh, I guess for wayfinding. And these trains are marked GWR. Um, and I noticed that was also in the hotel. At one time, the hotel was probably connected to the railway. I believe it's the Great Western. I'm not sure uh, where I'm supposed to be walking, but I mean, it's a first class coach. Oh, great, yeah, Great Western Railway. These are beautiful coaches. Uh, right now, these are the first class coaches. And there's, there's some uh, wayfinding, the Elizabeth line. I think that's the new line. I'm not sure. Shouldn't even be talking. Um, platform 14. I think the platform I'm looking for is platform 16 to go to... Uh, uh, King's Cross and I think that might be down. Oh god, look at this. This is the GWR first class lounge Very old school looks really cool Oh god And I'm not sure who this famous person is Oh, it's a memorial uh, war memorial for the uh, the people that work for um, the railroad that that lost their lives in, in the wars, uh, World War Two, World War One. As you can see, these trains are electric. There's the uh, the catenary above us. Wow, that's a beautiful train. Um, so I don't, I don't know the history of this station, how old it is, but I'm sure it's over 100 years old, and it's, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, kind of see the, uh, trying to give you like a an idea of how big it is. And above there's signs, platforms two to 14. I'm pretty sure uh, platform 16 is downstairs. Um, now, we're coming to the end of the, uh, the roofed area. God, these, these trains are so beautiful. Now we're 
actually out or kind of outside. Um, we have a canopy still over over us. And I don't see too many passengers down here. Maybe this is for freight areas. There's a train to uh, Bristol Meads and Reading. Wow, this train is so nice. I was hoping one of these trains would be pulling out so I get some shots of it. This is very, very cool. London Paddington. Oh, there comes a train coming in. It's coming in at a pretty good clip. And there goes the train heading out. And there's another train behind it. I think that might be the subway. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a subway small cars uh, oh wow this is something It's amazing. All the tracks of catenary, the signal, the tower. And I'm not sure what's above us. That old school fire escape. And I guess that there's a uh, parking garage there. So anyways, friends, um, I'm just going to take a walk back and um, try to, um, I guess we'll, we'll look for track number, uh, plot, uh, track number 16 and get a train out over to, um, to King's Cross. Here comes another train coming out. This looks like a commuter train. And another train coming in. This looks more like a long distance train, let me. Oh, that's the Heathrow Express. That is the train. That is the train I, I was supposed to be on last night, but I ended up taking the subway here instead. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, a no miss place for rail fans. Um, Got to check out Paddington in, in uh, London. And one thing I was kind of surprised was there were kind of like in New York. Um, People like sleeping on the benches uh, closer into the station. Um, last night I did see somebody begging on the subway. Um, so I guess it's kind of like all over. Um, 
you know, people with mental illnesses or whatever, um, you know, whatever problems they have in seeking shelter in uh, railroad stations, not just in New York, but here too. But God, these coaches are beautiful. Very clean windows. So maybe we'll take this, uh, this is a lift to the footbridge. Maybe we'll take it to the other side. This is the, uh, we're gonna cross these tracks as a footbridge. Unfortunately, uh, there's some dots in this glass. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame they have the dots here. This would be a great train viewing place. Okay. a shot of it. All the platforms seem to be uh, pr fair protected. So it seems very orderly. There's a, uh, you can see this nice clock down there on the right. It shows 1.30. There's friends, uh, this video is going on now about 12 minutes, so I'm gonna end it shortly. Uh, look at all these platforms. Just uh, un unbelievable, huge station. Uh, here's the Heathrow Express, this is where I, uh, the train I should have been on last night, but it, instead I got the subway. Um, maybe heading back, uh, I will take the Heathrow Express and check it out. I got looks like a commuter train coming in. Right, right here, the, the glass is a little bit low, so I can uh, video above it. Here we are, um, we're just, this is the Hammersmith and City Line, Circle Line via King's Cross, platforms 15 and 16, that's where I'm headed to. Just look at the size of this place. It's beautiful. Smith and City Line underground. No, it's only about, I think it's only about like nine stops. I think I'm only like two miles away. I checked the directions. I could, I could walk, it would take me about an hour. Be nice, but um, 
I want to ride the trains. So here we have Hammersmith Circle Line straight ahead via King's Cross. That's where I want to go. This place is just huge. And here we have uh, some history. Real Industry Memorial Day. I guess this was uh, a couple years ago. On the 3rd of March in 2023. A little bit about COVID history. Some nice photos. I have no idea how to do the tickets. Okay. Um, I'm just hoping I can use my credit card. Let's see if that works. Perfect credit card, no problem. All right, so let's see. Uh, Hammerson via King's Cross. I think I'm gonna just go down here. Friends, I'm gonna end the video and I'll, I'll pick it up when I, when I get on the train down there. Alrighty, hey, thanks for watching. And um, from Paddington Station, have a great day.